Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel, I document my own print on demand journey. A new upload tool is coming to the market very shortly and I want to talk about this on this channel and make you aware of it. We don't have a lot of details, but it is coming um, in the next few weeks or at least in the next, next couple of months. And um, just want to give you a heads up before it's actually coming to the market. As you know, at the moment I'm using Flying Upload. Flying Upload, without that, I'm very honest with you, I wouldn't be in the print on demand space. I purely don't have the time to upload manually to these websites. In my opinion is ridiculous um, that some websites don't allow automation because it is just a waste of time. Honestly, it's a waste of time that manual upload process and anyone who wants to grow a serious business cannot afford to upload manually to these websites. And there are different perspectives out there, but it's um, everybody needs to be honest that uploading manually is just a waste of time. In these days where you can automate things, it's a waste of time and a lot of opportunity costs basically if you upload manually because in that time you could do different things. You could grow a separate business, you could do whatever you want, but uploading manually to these print on demand sites is a waste of time. So that's why I went with automation pretty much from the beginning of my print on demand journey. I think after a couple of weeks of starting to upload manually to Amazon Merge, Spreadshirt and Redbubble, I looked for a proper automation tool and Flying Upload is one. It is the one that I started to use. I tried um, a few other ones. I tried Merge Titans, I think, and I tried Lazy Merge. That didn't work that well for me. Yes, probably for them a lot has changed now as well in the last year um, or in the last nine to 10 months because that is when I started my print on demand journey. Um, but seriously, they, they might have changed their software as well. But if we're gonna have a look at Flying Upload, um, this still is a, a really good software, of course. You've got three versions and you have a free version as well. If you have the free version, it's great because then you can have at least 150 free uploads anyway and you don't need to pay anything. So by all means, test the free version. You can find a link in the description to the free version. And if you then wanna go ahead and try it um, on, you know, for, for more uploads per month, then, and these 150 free are per month. So you can just, just test it. I encourage you without any cost, just test it, just use it. Um, if you want to use it then later and go on to one of these subscriptions, in my um, there's a link in the description that gives you 20% off and a discount code instead of the 10 that you get on the website. Now, why do I talk about a new flying upload um, tool or a new uploader? Well, because the team of flying upload, they are developing a new upload tool and I'm very excited about that because the first one is already amazing and I think the second one will be probably even better. And the reason I say that is because as a user of Flying Upload, I get their emails and what they say in this email is that they will develop, and they talked about it earlier, but I haven't really managed is or mentioned it on this channel, but they are developing Flying Upload Chapter 2. So what they basically say, this is not just a new update or a new expansion. And by the way, the, the Flying Upload 1, the current version, they are updating regularly anyway because there are so many changes on the different print-on-demand websites that they just have to provide regular updates. But here, this will be a completely new software that will be released over the next few months. And they say the first version will be available in November. Um, they don't give a lot of details what will be different, but what they say is that, uh, yeah, basically they started with their flying upload version in March, 2020. And the goal back then was to really develop something new, which is more user-friendly and where you don't need to use Excel if you don't want to, because a lot of people aren't really familiar with Excel, you know, they don't want to use it. Um, it's still a lot of work if you use Excel. So they provided a very nice interface, very user-friendly, and that's what I like from day one. And they started with six platforms. Now they have 15 on board and they are going to develop something completely new. So they unfortunately don't really talk about the difference. They say they will keep um, Flying Upload the first, the current version running anyway. And the second one will be a completely new software, which will run in parallel. And I guess at some point they will probably make Flying Upload 1 obsolete because, you know, as always with any software, it needs to be updated regularly. But I, th I think from what I heard so far is they want to sort of integrate the uploader and the research into one tool. So don't want to make it separate softwares. I think they want to do it in one tool. So it will become something that isn't really available on the market yet. Understandably, they don't want to give a lot of details because there are competitors on the market as well. But I just want to give you that heads up that that is coming. And I want to encourage you to take a look at Flying Upload 1 now and test the free version if you haven't done it yet. Um, this video is not sponsored by them. 
but I'm just excited about Flying Upload because I use it every day to upload to the print on demand sites. Yes, I'm affiliated um, with them. So if you use any of the links, then I get an affiliate, uh, I don't know how you call it, um, bonus, yeah. But um, it's not sponsored in any way. I'm totally convinced of this software. I love it. I, I really love it. And I use their KDP software as well. So they're also available for KDP, but it's a different software. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for Flying Upload 2. Let me know if you use Flying Upload as well. If you use a different uploader, I would at least encourage you to take a look at Flying Upload because it has worked for me very well and their support, and I must say that, I mean, I've tested different companies, but their support is, it's amazing. They, they reply immediately to emails. They have a Discord server. They are always there. They are just very, very helpful, these guys. And um, yes, yeah, two people uh, started to develop it. I think they might have grown now, but a really, really good, um, good software. Can't really, can't really, I mean, I can't really promote it enough because it really helped me to get a lot of sales. So just want to make you aware of that upcoming change. Hope you liked that. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this print on demand journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.